friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a healthy, fun grocery haul from Walmart for you, so if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. This is how I have lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, definitely come over and join us. We would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let me turn you around and let's jump into this Walmart grocery haul. So here is my grocery haul for the week. This week I went ahead and shopped at Walmart. I also picked up a case of Diet Coke that is out in the garage. So let's jump into the haul. So the first thing I picked up are some more of my little baby tortillas. These are my all time favorite. They're 25 calories, they're the perfect size. I am making fish tacos this week for my meal prep. So I grabbed these for the tacos. They're really perfect for street tacos or fish tacos. Picked up two gallons of 1% milk for Troy. I I also grabbed some frozen hash browns. This is for a recipe. These are just the Southern style hash browns. I didn't get the ones with the peppers because the recipe called for just the plain ones. So we're gonna try those out. I picked up these frozen sausage patties. I am having my meetup in Tucson this weekend and everybody is invited to my house Sunday morning for breakfast. That's going to be fun. I'm going to cook breakfast for them. And I picked up these turkey sausage patties for that. And then whatever's left over we can use for breakfast, breakfast sandwiches. These are easy for Troy because they're already cooked so he just has to warm them up and then I grab some cod some nice wild caught cod for my fish tacos got these little donuts I thought that these were super cute you can have three of them for 200 calories so just one is perfect for me just kind of a fun sweet treat and then I did grab these strawberry cream danishes Walmart has a really good reduced bakery section as well this is for Troy he loves cream cheese anything so I know he'll love those and then I got him muffins as well He's a big muffin eater for breakfast, so that way he'll have some quick, easy breakfast and sweet treats on hand. And then I got some chocolate rice cakes. I have been loving rice cakes pre-workout. They're such a great pre-workout snack. It's a fast acting carb. I like them with peanut butter. I like them with peanut butter and bananas. I like them plain. The chocolate chip ones are really good because they have little mini chocolate chips in them. Got some Tropicana light orange juice. This is for breakfast for my meetup. And then I needed whole milk for a recipe and then whatever milk is left over, Troy will drink. He doesn't discriminate against milk. He loves milk, so he'll drink the leftover whole milk. Picked up a can of pumpkin because I've been doing a lot of recipes with pumpkin and I wasn't sure if I had any in my pantry so I grabbed a can and then I needed a ricotta cheese for a recipe you guys will see a yummy recipe in Wednesday's what I eat in a day that is what the ricotta cheese is for and then I also needed bacon bits for a recipe some marinara sauce I am out until I make my next Sam's Club or Costco run which is on my list either prior to my trip to Texas or as soon as I get back I need to do a big stock up haul but this organic sauce from Walmart it's only 45 calories it's organic and it has nice clean ingredients so I grabbed that. I also picked up just some grated parm. This is for the recipe that I need the ricotta for. Some one third less fat cream cheese for a recipe. And then I need a chicken broth, but I always try to substitute bone broth just for the extra protein. So this is the reduced sodium bone broth. And then the last canned good is some healthy request cream of chicken soup for a dinner recipe. My favorite cheese is this reduced fat from Sargento Pepper Jack. It tastes just like full fat cheese, but it's less fat and calories and it's so good. So I grabbed another pack of that. Walmart is really the only place I can find it. And then light shredded cheese as well. This is a staple in this house. So I grabbed a bag and then I looked for the Chobani zero sugar yogurt. They didn't have it in the pumpkin. They only, actually, they were almost out of the zero sugar. I still have a few left in my fridge, but I wanted pumpkin. So I grabbed the light and fit pumpkin Greek. I don't think I've tried this one or at least not that I remember. So I'm excited to have that. Quite a bit of produce, two huge bags of sweet potatoes. I am making a sweet potato 
hash for my meetup for breakfast from my friend Henry. He's a chef and he has this recipe on his website. Definitely check out his website. It's chefhealthyhenry.com. He has some amazing healthy recipes and one of them was this sweet potato hash with onion and rosemary. So I'm going to make that and then I have been on a sweet potato kick myself. So I picked up another bag just for me for the week. Some tricolor coleslaw. This is for the fish tacos. I'm going to make a homemade slaw. Some cilantro and some green onions for dinner recipes. A red onion for that sweet potato hash. And then you use fresh rosemary in that hash as well. So I picked that up. I'm going to make a fruit salad for breakfast for the meetup. So I grabbed strawberries, blueberries for that, and then blueberries for myself for the week and some fresh raspberries. I also have apples and cuties. So I'm gonna make just a fun fresh fruit salad as part of breakfast. And then I'm going to use the American Dream Nut Butter Dream Cakes and make blueberry protein muffins. It's gonna be so great. Definitely follow me on Instagram. Make sure you're in my Facebook group. I'll be posting lots of pictures. So that is what I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So of course today, Saturday, it's my meetup, so we're going out for dinner. Tomorrow, I'm actually making crock pot potato soup. I'm going to throw some protein in here, probably some 99% ground turkey, just to bulk up the protein. Monday, I'm making ricotta meatballs. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, I can't wait. Tuesday's leftovers, Wednesday, Troy wants a burger night, and then Thursday and Friday, we do leftovers as well. Here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making a protein cookie. This is going to be a portable, on-the-go, easy, healthy breakfast packed with protein. Lunch is going to be fish tacos. I'm so excited for these. And then dessert, I'm doing pumpkin protein brownies. I've been craving brownies, and why not add some pumpkin and some protein? So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. I have some really great healthy recipes in store for you. You're not going to want to miss them, so make sure you're subscribed, your bell's on, give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to stop by that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. Come follow me on Instagram and in my Facebook group so you can see all the photos from the, this weekend's meetup. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Saturday, friends, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.